Hello, beautiful people. Today I will be showing you how to create custom bold and simple stream alerts within a few minutes. If you don't have Photoshop, you can also use the 100% free tool, PhotoP. Let's get started with the stream alert design tutorial. Before starting, let's talk about today's sponsor, Own.TV. If you are looking to boost your live streaming graphics most easily and affordably possible, then Own.TV will be the choice to go. They have the largest library of premium, live streaming pre-made assets for any niche you are in. Get professionally made overlays, alerts, emotes, Twitch panels, social media banners, deck icons, stream package, and many more. Use the link in the description box below and use the code EMSQ at the checkout to get 50% off on all of their products. Create a new composition. You can set the dimension as your wish because we will be cropping it later in the video. To see how the alert will look in the real stream, I will be adding a gameplay scene. I will make it darker so it doesn't distract. Select the rectangle tool and draw a shape. Keep the height small and disable the stroke color, we will only use the fill color. As this will be a bright and bold design, I will use a bright pastel green, soft purple color. Give the newly created a shape pastel green color. You can copy the codes by pausing the video or getting the full detailed blog post link in the description box. Create another duplicate of the shape by pressing Ctrl plus J. Please give this a color and keep it slightly off the bottom layer. It will reveal the bottom color rectangle at a unique angle. Now, grab the pen tool and draw a box like this. It will be the place where we will be placing our alert text. ADD another rectangle shape to place the icon. If you press A on your keyboard, it will enable the direct selection tool. You can also get this by right-clicking the cursor icon. When you click any corner anchor point, you can freely move that part. I will be giving this shape an angular look, so it matches the text box as well. We will also keep the icon box slightly upper than the text box. It's time to add some color. Double click the text box layer and add a gradient fill. Add the same color to both ends but make the end color a slightly darker tone, so it gives a smooth gradient. In the end, you can add a thin stroke. Make sure you choose the lightest tone of the actual color, or go with pure white color. Do the same thing for the icon box as well. Select the text tool and write your alert name. I am using a free font. You can get the link in the blog post. The link is given below.
I will add a subtle drop shadow to the text box so it gets a depth in the overall design. Import your icon. Press Ctrl plus T to enable the transform tool. Resize the icon. Now, again double click the icon and add a gradient overlay. Also, add a thin stroke as well. Once done, create two duplicates of the icon. Hold ALT and drag the icon. It will make the duplicate icon. Now, decrease the opacity gradually. For the duplicated icons, it will give the icon an echo effect. Let's wrap the design with some additional effects. Select the base layer and go to filter. Then choose add noise. Give a small amount of 3.44%. Choose Gaussian as distribution. And at last check the monochromatic option. Create a new layer on top of the base. Then press B to enable the brush tool. Then right click the screen and make the brush size smaller. Choose a white color. Right click the new layer and choose clipping mask. Now draw some highlights. Make sure you have set the blend mode to soft light. Doing this will give the simple base a trendy look. Alternatively, you can add some random designs. I am using the polygonal lasso tool to draw the thunder icons. You can also use the pen tool to do the same things. To make it glow, I am adding both inner and outer glow. Now, press C to enable the crop tool. Then draw the area the alert is covering. You can make further adjustments as well by dragging the line pointers. At last, hide the background and move to the exporting option. Once you are happy with your design, go to File. Then export and save for web. From the drop-down, choose PNG24. Make sure the transparency option is checked. Hit save. There you go.
we have successfully created a simple yet bold looking static stream alert design. If you want to learn more about creating the other elements of your live stream, I highly recommend checking out these videos. Catch you in the next one. Peace.